Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you the 2020 Crafty Goals collab with Amalia recap for the month of July. July was a pretty good month. There were a couple collabs that I had to um, change a bit. Um, my computer died on the 18th and I didn't wasn't able to replace it until the 22nd. And so these two collabs, um, monthly card collab and feeling punchy, I had the projects done, but I hadn't pre-scheduled the posts, so I um, put them up the next day, the 23rd. The collab with Bev and Linda for designing, I hadn't done that collab yet, and so I didn't get that one done, so I highlighted it in yellow. And then um, on the 31st, Canned Pumpkin, that collab for this month, needed to be canceled. But that's all right. I have the cards and things made. I'll just save them for August. As you can see at a glance, there's lots of green stars. I did have a couple of Stampin' Up! orders um, that I placed. Otherwise, I had a good month of not spending money on crafty supplies. So looking ahead to August, I'm off to a good start for August. Um, here's today, my lovely ladies collab um, went up this morning. Here's the Crafty Goals collab video which you're watching now. Tomorrow I have a sheet load of cards that will go up. Um, I'm done with a lot of the collabs for this month. I've, I'm done with 10 on the 10th. I'm done with embellishments. I'm done with Craft Our Paper Stash. I have my cards made for monthly card collab. I still need to work on die signing and punchy. I'm done with Fancy Folds. I've got the color collab done. Canned Pumpkin is a carryover from last month, so that's done. I just need to do um, new paper, same project, but those projects are coming along fine. I need to still do my um, project for my collab with Jill and the 6x6, six six, smash that small paper pad. I'm done with stickers. I still need to do Use It Up. And I need to work on Pinspiration Collaboration. But since I am have so many of these done, I'll, what I'll do is I'll work on these. And then I'm going to backtrack and start making some birthday cards to have on hand. I have a lot of birthday cards, but I want to make some that are a little bit extra special. And so I'll use the month of August to um, get many of those completed. And those I won't share on video because they'll be going out to some very special crafty friends. You'll have to wait until their birthdays to see the cards if they decide to share them. So August is looking pretty good as far as being ahead with what I'm what I need to work on and then let's take a look at some numbers because that's always fun so each month I keep track of what I've done for the month and then I'm keeping a running total for the year so in July I made 152 cards year total is 880 I didn't do any ATC's memory decks cards or tags so that year to date total is still at 104. I made 60 embellishments year to date 388. I did 14 other types of projects which would include packaging ideas and boxes and things like that. So 14 in July, 104 year to date. I did 16 videos in July, 144 so far this year. Year to date, not including videos, I have, or for the month of July total, 226 projects. Year to date, 1,476 projects. And so um, I've got it filled out for August, September, October, November, and December to fill out the entire year. So that is my update for the month of July. I'd like to thank you for joining me. Down below will be a link to all the participants in this collaboration. Please stop by their channels and give them some support and encouragement to be working on their goals and give them some crafty love for the goals that they've met this month. 
And now, I'm off to create.